You have been given a manual from our office. Please refer and read thoroughly through the manual before your surgery. So, there's all these instructions in this whole notebook on what to do to get ready for the surgery. They're counting on me to do an awful lot of stuff, and I'm not a trained professional, so I'm paying attention like my life depended on it. More instructions. Look at all those numbered spots on my body are not erogenous zones. They're places where bacteria hides. 2% chlorohexidine gluconate. I've got to wipe myself down with these things. Then in the morning, before going to the hospital, I've got to go through this all over again. If getting bacteria off your body is so important, why are they having me do it? Shouldn't doctors and nurses do this stuff? These are fun. Make sure you can, you're can. you not getting a lung infection. Look, I've got one of these. My own personal walker and uh, my nursing staff. The hospital. This is a little like those casinos in Vegas. You can tell where the money is. Look how much this place cost. Sure. Yep. Good morning. Here's my luxury suite. Don't put your feet on the floor once you get your shoes off without putting these okay. on. Because you're nice and clean. You did the wipe downs last night and this morning. The, the what? The, the what? Wipe downs with yes. the towel left last night and this morning. Okay. What, what does that uh, do? Is it is it antiseptic? Which, yes, it kills the germs. Okay, they left me some equipment outside my door here. But I think this is... Uh, I'm on the do-it-yourself plan. I guess I've got to figure out what to do with that. I'm the guinea pig for the Obamacare health plan. This is how they're going to cut costs. It's do-it-yourself. Yeah, get in the bed. It's... Hey, this is Ellie. She's taking good care of me. <laughs> you are so funny. You're not taking pictures, are you? Yeah, I've been covering the before, and, and I won't be able to get much of the during, but I'm going to get the You after. are too much. You I'm make gonna... me laugh. How old's your daughter? 21. <clears throat> Does she live with you? Yeah. yeah. Just you and her? Yeah. Oh. You don't have a wife? You don't have a wife? I did. Oh. Was she, it good or bad? It was great. I thought. Oh. <laughs> she differed. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't mean to. I mean, I, I didn't know if she had deceased. And then when you said differ, then I realized. No. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, now if I don't wake up from the surgery, here's my last will and testament. One third I want to go, and one third. I'm sorry. I ever cost you a moment's pain. <laughs> it would incinerate me. That'd be the easiest thing. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember what they call it. Incinerate me. That'll be good. Nine minutes after eight. So there, I'm not dying intestate. I'm not dying at all. Hopefully. <laughs> so they give me a few pills. Oxycontin. I've had Oxycontin now. Cotton. Cotton. Apparently, Cotton. Apparently, it affects your speech center. Oxycontin. It says Normasol R. I need Normasol. <laughs> you are so funny. For Chuck, plenty of Normasol. People, as they walk by in the corridor, they see you in here in the bed, and they give you this kind of walk by, like, like you're on death's door, and they understand how grave. <laughs> They're being very respectful walking by. They don't know I'm just a goof. They want you to wake up, you know. I'm going to be like, Mom, I don't want to go to school. I'm going to be actually writhing in pain. Uh, this will be fun. This is like an experiment. I'm going to be a science experiment. Not a fan of needles. I'm going to shoot this. And if the camera faints, <laughs> we know why, don't forget huh? to pick it up off the floor before they wheel me out of here, okay? Chuck. You're too much. Hug your thumb, hon. You're nice and warm. Okay. Uh, oh, you've got nice veins. You have been working out. I have the strength of ten men. Ooh, ooh. So you got a lot of hair on you. Good grief. Does that bother you in the hand? Pain-wise? No. As long as it'll be gone later. I don't have to keep this for life, do I? No. So this is a major Alaskan pipeline size needle, then, if you got to numb it, huh? Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, you're I'm done, get, Chuck. I'm going to get dizzy. <laughs> That's the tool they're going to use next. I guess they're going to mark me. 
I don't know. Perforations. Score here. Cut here. Do not cut this. A little bit, a little bit muddy in the head. I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a tad impaired. Everybody kind of describes it as being great. I feel great. I just feel kind of sleepy. I'm taking a shot of the, the virginal skin that's going to be <laughs> sliced to ribbons here in a second. I like these kind of shots in those TV shows where you go down the hall. They just show like this. If you need to go, I'll just hand you the camera. Okay. That's what I'm headed for. Dun 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 dun. Why are they having me do it? I think shouldn't doctors and nurses do this stuff? Pretty I'm the guinea pig for the Obamacare health plan. This is this is how they're going to cut costs. It's do it yourself. Yeah, get in the pit. Plenty of normal song. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tad impaired. Incinerate me. I'm going to be a science experiment.